This is why chirality plays such a big role in the existence of life. A quick explanation, chirality means that there is a chemical molecule which has different three-dimensional arrangements, but it's still the same molecule. For example, your hands are chiral. They, they look the same, they have the same functions, but you can put them on top of each other. They are mirror images of themselves, but they're they are not the same even though they are the same and in chemistry you have molecules and they have structures if it's just a, a straight line it's always going to be a straight line but depending how complex they are how big they are they can have different three-dimensional arrangements which are made of the same smaller atoms but they are different because they have a different configuration in the three-dimensional space. And now if you look at the origin of life, you will come to a very interesting conclusion that the moment life starts to exist, you have a certain degree of complexity in the uh, molecules. Everything that is needed that differentiates us from a non-living material like a stone or this piece of metal and plastic here is that the things that build us that make us different they're all chiral they all have different structures in the three-dimensional space they are not just linear they, they are always different with up to infinite different configurations now let me show you guys something on the whiteboard so you have a three-dimensional space with the time being right here, always going forwards. And now you have simple molecules, for example, this right here is propane. It's C3 eight, hydrogen 8. It's not chiral, it will always look like this. If we now add more complexity to this, for example, add two more carbons, and this carbon here sticks out, suddenly you have tons of different variations, how this can be aligned in the three-dimensional space for it to be different. And the comparison I want to make is that if you only have a linear timeline, which is very narrow in possibilities, things will always be the same. But now if, if you introduce different options like this, which happened at some point in the Earth's timeline, where you added complexity to everything which created life is that suddenly you had, let's call this one, and the opposite of this wave right here is minus one, but together they equal zero. So all of these different variations, if you sum them all up, they will, they will always equal zero. And our existence, just like I've painted, I have made on here with the little pins. This is the double Fibonacci sequence. Our existence is the anomaly of having different timelines in the same room of space and time. We are the difference. And maybe I am the one and the person watching, you are the minus one. But then there can be someone like this and they have an opposite reaction like this. And the same thing goes on in infinite ways that things can move along space and time, but in the end, everything will equalize itself. And that's the, the creation of life in infinite possibilities. If we did not have chirality the way it exists, if everything was always linear, it, was, it would always be linear because it's always the same. So the only reason we have life is because of the complexity of the infinite arrangements of chemi chemical molecules. If they didn't exist in a certain complexity as they do, we wouldn't have this variation of life. I just came up with this listening to this lady named Sarah Walker and I I don't know how to explain it probably because I've never worded it. It's like a feeling, but I don't have an image in my head that I can use to explain it. So I'm just like grasping for words, trying to make it understandable to someone who is listening to it, has no idea about what I'm talking about. 
But all I want to say is that even if we don't have a clear definition of what life is, is that what is happening on Earth with humans and consciousness does not exist anywhere else in our known universe. And we are special in the way that we have all of these variations of molecules built on top of biological systems which don't exist anywhere else in the world in the universe from what we know right now there is nothing like our planet and we most likely will never find anything even comparable in our lifetimes and now to end this video of why this is even important we are just made of matter with a certain amount of energy and to equalize everything there is a certain amount of antimatter which we can't even see but once we're gone and maybe our planet disappears from something the whole universe might be a very simple linear system again but for the time being while we exist and we have this anomaly of life with all of these super complex chiral molecules that make us we have to find a meaning in the meaninglessness of everything around us even though everything will be gone in the end of time we have to find something that gives our personal self meaning to go through it and not just and everything in this very moment.